Nothing will keep you down Vancouver's Folk Music Festival is back and indeed nothing is keeping it down. Oh, it's great to be back. It's it's one of the most beautiful settings for a, a festival, I think. It feels like a big holiday. Jericho Beach is once again the backdrop with multiple stages throughout the park. People are so grateful and thankful and I'm even more grateful and thankful right back at them. For artists like Crystal DeSantis, it was her first time performing at the festival, but she hopes to come back every year. They're such an amazing and important place for music and people to gather and community. And I think that's so incredibly important in any city, especially in Vancouver. The artists are so glad to be back. And there's just such a beautiful sense of community of what happens in this park, a sense of, of joy and of safety. In January, the festival's board announced it would be canceled due to financial struggles. But that decision was reversed after a huge outpouring of donations. We were really heartbroken when the festival nearly didn't happen this year and we're so delighted to be back. It hit my heart because I think this has become such an iconic uh, festival for this area in Vancouver. I am very heartened by the way that people pulled together and donors came through. And I can't believe what they pulled off in a short you know, time frame in just a few short months. Some hope the turnaround might bring about a more radical change. I'm hoping that, that, that what happened saving this festival will propel uh, just the sort of culture forward around thinking what we might have lost here. Organizers are left hopeful about the Folk Fest's future. We have more funders and donors stepping up, as I was talking about. And we have a plan for the future, for the financial security. But we will be back next year. Sohrab Sandhu, CBC News, Vancouver.